God bless you, God bless you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To him all the praise, to him all the glory. Right, the importance of the use, using the word of God. The importance of using the word of God. Not your own words, the word of God. What is this means for us, our personal life? Please stay with me and share so other people get also blessed with the Lord of the Lord. The Bible teaches this and uh, I want to step and step up scripture how important we <coughs> the word of God and we know but uh, if you know this in scripture how important the word of God is and not only by knowing yes the word of God is important for me but if you don't can explain it for yourself how can you move how can you use the word of God in your life to separate things, to get things in order and to deliver things and set free and take dominion in your life and also to pray. But he answered and say in the he said, It is written, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Out of the mouth of God. <coughs> Out of the mouth of God. We see this in Genesis. And it's the basis, the foundation from everybody, from every Christian. You must know uh, and exercise, exercise uh, and prove and examine yourself by the word of God so you get understanding what is wrong and what is good. And by this... Uh, teaching from the Holy Spirit in your life you can exercise you can test your emotions by the Word of God and your thoughts so you can um, sharpen yourself by the Word of God and you can uh, use the Word of God in your marriage in in on work and you can separate things by in your thinking and also uh, around you and it comes from the mouth of God and God speaks and there was an, uh, there was light in Genesis 1 if God speaks to you there comes light and there is a manifestation from the word of God from the word of God from God himself by reading the, God, the word of God can come to you by reading and there comes light into your life and it comes from God's mouth it's given from heaven you can only receive it if it is given from heaven. John 3, 27. And I want to go on to the scripture I want to, <coughs> that the Lord gave me to. <coughs> and Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him. Was with him. Very, there are other scriptures apply to this, that you know that God is with you. If God is with you, Jesus will manifest himself in your life. And did let none of his words fall to the ground. God did not let one of his words fall on the ground. You can see it's you, that in other translations it's a little bit different. God don't let the words fall from the prophets. God let <coughs> don't let his words, his own words, in from the prophets fall on the ground. There was a revealing from the word of God in the life by the speaking. What uh, Samuel's speaking is uh, from God. God approved it was from him. And 20. 1 Samuel 3 verse 19 and 21. This and 20. And all Israel from then even to Bethsaida knew there was a knowing that Samuel was established and grounded to be a prophet of God. And he was established by reason that God don't let, don't let 
any word f f fell on the ground. And then we read on, and the Lord appear. Think about this, and the Lord appear again in Silo, for the Lord reveal Himself. There was before there was no appearance from God, but Samuel found the way with the Lord. Before there was no more appearance from God, but by the prophet Samuel there was a new appearance from the Lord Himself. By listen. For the Lord revealed Himself to Samuel in Silo by the word of the Lord, by the word of the Lord. Does it means for us there must be show, there must be a report not only from our faith but also by use the word of God in our lives, and um, we apply the word in our heart to correct ourselves and to um, guide. There is a guidance from the word of God in our lives. And also what we speak, God is, uh, by what we're speaking, revealing himself through the people um, around you. And that is what it means. There is more to teach about the foundation, uh, of course. But that is what it means to um, the importance of using the word of God. To speak it out and to let it, uh, to 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 use it for your personal life and to other people around you, and I want to apply another scripture to it so it gives you more view, more view what it is means, and it teaches this in Mark, Mark, chapter one twenty two. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that has authority and not as the scribes. That was also about Samuel. Samuel, if Samuel shows up and it's already uh, that um, and all Israel from then even to Bethlehem knew that Sam was established to be a prophet of the Lord. And also the scribes, they don't they like to lie they, they want to kill him, but they know there is something special with Jesus. Want he, sp he we speak with authority. Let me read another scripture I can let me find this mark also mark and it's very special. If you read this, you just, you are wondering what is going on, right? It's a Mark nine. Yes, and when he came to the disciples, he saw a great multitude about them, and the scribes questioned him with them. And. Um, and then I think so was in fifteen. Yes, and um, and straightway all the people when they beheld him were greatly amazed, running to him, saluting him. There were in other translation say uh, teach this is by seeing Jesus they were very surprised and wondering. If you use the, the word of God, if you practice the word of God, there comes. Uh, an an appearance with you, and uh, we know in the New Testament we are hosting Jesus in our heart. There must be a, a wondering uh, for the people around us. How can we do this? It's not about us. <laughs> we know this. It is not by our own strength, but it is Jesus is working it out in all kinds of difficulties. We stay. And we, we pray, we, we ask the Lord for strength to do so. And that is um, uh, that's showing us, that's showing the people us that God has established us. Right. Let this word uh, bless you and keep you and that the people around you are surprised by uh, not only that you are have riches, but also you are, you walk with the Lord and you are, Revealing that the word of God revealing through your lives 
and that the people are, 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 were wondering about you, uh, about your great and great great God in your life. To bless you, to keep you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.